So the first deadly mistake, you know, thinking that, okay, I'm born with the Holy Spirit of God and not realizing there is a step-by-step -step process for receiving it. The other deadly mistake is not recognizing the need for the Spirit of God. You know, not recognizing the need for it. And in my personal life, you know, I, rem I remember as a teenager thinking, I was at a party, just watching what people, teenagers do at a party. I sort of got off to myself looking at all, all that and I thought, man, there's got to be more to life than this. If this is all there is to life, you know, just getting drunk and doing whatever people do, you know, uh, it was amazing. It was ama an amazing reality that came upon my mind to realize it's got to be more to life than this. And I began to recognize I have a need for something that I don't have. And it was the Spirit of God. Now, it doesn't mean, and so what, what can we do about it? Let's ask this question. You know, what can we do about it? Well, there is something you can do about it. Now, when you look at the world in which you live in, do you love the world in which you live in? Now, I'm not talking about loving the beauty of our nation or, or of the world. You know, it is uh, a wonderful world when you think of God's creation and all that is beautiful and, you know, the, the, the rivers, the, the lakes, the oceans, the, the, the moon, the, you know, all of God's creation. We love that part of the world. But when you watch your local news, do you love that? You hear about beheadings. You hear about missing children. Have you seen these children? You read the FBI crime clock. Every so many minutes, you know, a murder, a rape occurs. You watch the evening news. Do you love the world in which you live? So what can you do about this sin-sick world in which we live? There is something you can do about it. There is something you can do about it, and that is surrender to God and receive the Spirit of God. That's what will change your world. Now, I mentioned, yes, man, for the most part, has been cut off, but there is a way back. There is a way to get to God, to approach God, and to receive the Holy Spirit of God. There is a way to receive the Holy Spirit of God. And let's take a look at that way. Acts 2 and verse 38. Acts 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And one of the things you want to do when it comes to repenting is repent of living a life void of the Holy Spirit. You know, all of this time I've been running around living a life void of the Spirit of God. I knew something. I knew I was missing something. I knew there was more to life than this. 